welcome to another video by Chemical Engineering Life. In this video, we are going to have a look at the top 10 master's degree that you can pursue after your undergrad in chemical engineering. We are specifically going to look at what topics you can cover and why is it a good idea to pursue those degrees after your chemical engineering. So do watch the video till the very end and if you do like it, then remember to like, share and subscribe to Chemical Engineering Life for more videos. So let's begin. The degree that we have at number 10 is a master's in petroleum engineering. A petroleum engineering degree focuses on the exploration, extraction and production of oil and gas. Some of the topics which you can expect to study during a degree could include reservoir engineering, drilling engineering, petroleum production, enhanced oil recovery and energy economics. And given the today's climate, there is also a strong focus on environmental considerations and sustainable practices specifically within the oil and gas industry. Pursuing this degree after chemical engineering could be a very good idea for someone who is looking to enter the energy industry, especially the oil and gas sector. And that is because this degree will provide them with the technical knowledge required to work in upstream, midstream and downstream operations. And you have to remember that even though the world is transitioning towards renewable energy, oil and gas still remains the critical energy source. And there's a strong demand for engineers with expertise in extraction technologies, reservoir management and energy efficiency. The degree that we have at number 9 is the Masters in Data Science. Now, Data Science involves the collection, analysis and interpretation of complex data using machine learning, statistical analysis and artificial intelligence. And at the same time, computational engineering focuses on solving complex engineering problems using simulations, optimization, and high performance computing. In today's environment, with the growing importance of data driven decision making, chemical engineers can use their analytical skills in data science to improve process optimization, quality control, and predictive maintenance in industrial settings. In computational engineering, Python-based simulations and machine learning can be applied to optimize chemical processes or materials development. Therefore, these fields offer strong job prospects across various industries including chemicals, energy and tech for chemical engineers. The degree that we have at number 8 is the Masters in Pharmaceutical Engineering. Now, this degree focuses on the design development and manufacturing of pharmaceutical products. It includes topics like drug formulation, bioprocessing, regulatory requirements, process scale-up and quality assurance. Additionally, there is a strong emphasis on good manufacturing practices, GMP for short, and compliance with the industry regulations. To answer the question why it would be a good idea to pursue after a degree in chemical engineering, you must remember that the pharmaceutical industry relies heavily on chemical engineers for process development, scaling up and manufacturing of their drugs. And therefore, having a master's in pharmaceutical engineering provides chemical engineers with the specific technical knowledge needed to design safe and efficient production processes for pharmaceuticals, making it an ideal choice for roles within drug development, drug production and quality management. So if you see yourself as someone who wishes to work within the technical side of the pharmaceutical production, this degree would definitely be something to look into. The degree that we have at number 7 is a Masters in Industrial Engineering. Industrial engineering focuses on optimizing complex processes, systems and organizations. It covers topics like operations research, logistics, supply chain management, production planning and quality control. It also includes topics such as process optimization, lean manufacturing and decision making models. Very similar to chemical engineering. And you must remember that chemical engineers often find themselves working in process industries where efficiency and optimizations are undoubtedly very crucial. 
Hence, by pursuing a master's in industrial engineering, you can very easily transition into roles that emphasize process improvement, operations management, and production efficiency. This degree can be highly valuable if you are looking for roles within manufacturing, supply chain management, and operations strategy. Then, the degree that we have in number 6 is a Master's in Process Safety and Risk Management. Very briefly, this program focuses on identifying, evaluating, and managing risks in chemical and industrial processes. Some of the topics that you can expect to study include hazard analysis, ex accident investigation, safety regulations, emergency response planning, and quantitative risk assessment. Additionally, it also covers both the technical and the regulatory aspects of process safety. The reason it's a good idea to pursue after chemical engineering is because given the high risk associated with the chemical processes, especially in high risk industries like the oil and gas, pharmaceuticals, and chemical manufacturing, safety is a critical concern. Chemical engineers with specialized knowledge in process safety are in high demand to help organizations minimize risks, comply with safety regulations, and avoid catastrophic incidents. This degree positions chemical engineers for strong roles in health, safety, and environmental departments or even consulting in their later careers. The degree that we have at number 5 is Masters in Biochemical Engineering. This degree focuses on the application of engineering principles to biological systems and bioprocesses. Some of the courses that you may be expected to study include Bioreaction Engineering, Biopharmaceuticals, Bioprocess Design, Metabolic Engineering, and Bioinformatics. And, and this degree is a perfect blend between lab work and research. And the biotechnology and the pharmaceutical industries are booming right now. And luckily, chemical engineers have exactly the right foundation in reaction engineering and process design to easily transition into this field. If a chemical engineer is interested in working in areas such as drug development, biomanufacturing, or genetic engineering, this degree provides them with the specialized knowledge required to excel in those industries. The degree that we have at number 4 is Masters in Material Science and Engineering. Material Science and Engineering focuses on the design, development, and testing of new materials. Topics such as nanotechnology, polymers, composites, biomaterials, and even semiconductor materials would be one of the few topics that you'll study during your degree. The program is also a perfect blend between theoretical courses and hands-on lab work in material characterization and development. Chemical engineers are well suited for this field because of their knowledge of chemical processes and material properties. With industries like electronics, aerospace, pharmaceuticals, and manufacturing constantly demanding new materials with specific properties, this degree opens up a wide range of career opportunities. If, if a chemical engineer is interested in working in R&D, product development, or even working at the intersection of chemistry and physics, this could be a great fit. The degree that we have at number 3 is the Masters in Energy Engineering. Energy Engineering focuses on the development and optimization of energy systems. This program covers renewable energy technologies such as solar, wind, biofuels, and at the same time, energy storage, energy efficiency, and also the traditional energy systems. It also includes much more specialized courses within energy policy, energy economics, and of course, sustainability. In the world that we are living in today, there is a great shift towards sustainable energy sources and decarbonization. And therefore, this degree is highly relevant in today's world. A background in chemical engineering is an excellent foundation for understanding energy conversion processes, thermodynamics, and reaction engineering, all of which are critical in energy engineering. This degree allows chemical engineers for 
entering and obtaining roles within the renewable energy companies, energy policy, or even the energy intensive industries. The degree that we have at number two is a master's in environmental engineering. Environmental engineering focuses on the application of engineering principles to protect the environment and the human health. Topics may include water and wastewater treatment, air pollution control, waste management, environmental sustainability, and renewable energy technologies. Additionally, this degree may also cover the regulatory and policy aspects of environmental protection. And just like I said earlier, as the, as the sustainability becomes more and more important, the demand for chemical engineers with an environmental focus is growing day by day. If you are interested in addressing global environmental challenges like climate change, pollution, and resource management, this degree leverages your chemical engineering background in a socially responsible and high demand sector. And finally, the degree that we have at number one is none other than Masters in Chemical Engineering itself. This is a direct continuation of undergraduate studies, but it focuses on advanced chemical engineering topics such as process design, thermodynamics, separation processes, reaction engineering, and transport phenomena. Often, you can choose to specialize in specific areas like energy systems, materials engineering, or even biochemical engineering. And just like any other degree, and depending on the university, the program usually involves both coursework and lab work and a research project. And the reason to pursue a master's in chemical engineering would be if you wish to deepen your technical skills or aim for research roles. That's because a master's in chemical engineering allows you to specialize work further in the field. This path is ideal for those interested in academia, research and development, or highly technical roles in the industries like petrochemicals, pharmaceuticals, or energy. So these were the top 10 degrees that we feel are most relevant to pursue after an undergrad in chemical engineering. If you agree or disagree, then do remember to tell us in the comments below. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to Chemical Engineering Live for more videos. Thank you and have a great day.